Hey everyone, Techsnacker here. Hope you are all doing well. Spring is finally here and the sun is shining. Today I'm going to share my experience on using the iPhone 12 mini in 2022. Near the end of 2020, it was the first iPhone with this mini form factor, a 5.4 inch screen with Face ID and a full HD resolution. Contrast that with the budget iPhone SE models that come in the old 4.7 inch screen, huge bezels, and touch ID. For my review, I'll go over my likes and dislikes of the phone and whether you should pick one up in 2022. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start off with my likes about the iPhone 12 mini. And the first one is the uh, one hand use. I really like the fact that it is easy to use this phone with one hand and not two hands. Uh, you can easily reach your finger across the whole screen to, to click on hyperlinks and to reach the top and bottom of the screen. This is especially handy when your other hand is holding something and you only have one hand free. In recent times, phones are usually 6 inches or larger and require both hands to use. Alright, uh, for my second like, I really like the design. I'm a big fan of the squared off edges of the iPhone 12 mini. Uh, the metal, it feels really cool and premium to hold in the hand. The previous generation iPhones, like the iPhone 11 and the iPhone X, they also felt good, but the rounded edges felt slippery and not as premium as the iPhone 12 design. Like number three, Ex the extra features and the modern features of the iPhone 12 mini. I really like the convenience of MagSafe which started with the iPhone 12 series. You can attach a MagSafe wallet, a charger, and battery using this feature. I personally use this with a wallet and, uh, and an in-car phone holder. I also like the fact that this iPhone has 5G capability, which means you can get faster download speeds to load web pages and watch videos faster. Like number four performance. So this iPhone 12 mini is packing an A14 Bionic chip and it is still super zippy and performs very well. I had no problems using multiple apps, watching videos, playing games, and browsing the internet. You will have no issues with performance even though this processor is a generation behind uh, the newer A15 chip and soon, to be, and soon to be released A16 chip. Now on to my dislikes and why you might want to reconsider buying this phone. A huge gripe I have with this phone is the battery life. If you like to watch movies on your phone and browse the internet, you will see that your battery is draining pretty fast and you will need to charge your phone at least once before the day is over. This is an, this is an unfortunate trade-off of having a smaller form factor, which is that there isn't room for Apple to place a larger battery. I really hate having to charge my phone in the middle of the day when I'm on the go and I oftentimes get battery anxi anxiety, similar to how EV owners have range anxiety. When this happens, I go on battery saver mode to try to get the most battery out of my phone. Just like number two. Another major con of this phone is that I find the screen to be too small. Oftentimes when I'm reading an article on a web page, I need to zoom in the text to read to read it comfortably. This goes with web pages with icons, pictures, and videos. Text and images are frequently too small for this phone. If you often consume media content on your phone, you will get frustrated with the small screen, the small screen skies of the iPhone 12 mini. Overall, whether this phone is a good pick for you will depend on your needs. It is a great phone for casual, light using, light usage on a budget. It has all the newer features in the iPhone, in the iPhone lineup such as 5G, MagSafe, the squared off corners, and Face ID, in a small form factor that will allow for one-handed use. However, if you use your phone often and consume media, and if you consume a lot of media, this is not the phone for you. Your battery will drain quickly and you will have to look for a charger often. Screen real estate is also lacking in this phone. So that's it for my review of the iPhone 12 mini after one year of use. 
I hope this video helps you decide whether it's worth getting this phone now. Please check out my other tech videos on computers and phones. And don't forget to like this video and to hit subscribe to my channel. See you all in my next video. Peace out and stay safe.